so our next topic we are having that is the phylum next phylum in the previous video we discussed about the phylum porifera in this video we were discussing uh, the next phylum that is the cnidaria okay so what are cnidaria cnidaria are basically the sponges but they are complex in it in the sponges okay porifera were also sponges but they were not complex but they are complex and they were lack of tissues and cell they are not lack of tissues and cells okay and if we talk about the cnidaria so they are basically the aquatic animal okay they are aquatic and majorly most of the cnidarian basically live in the marine water which is salty water and few live in the fresh water okay and they are having basically the radial symmetry okay what does it mean by the radial symmetry that is the mean for example we are having this okay they are having no end no opening no left right and they are basically for cut from the center so this is called the radial symmetry okay and they are basically diploblastic what does it mean which means they contain only two layers okay which is the endo and ec endoderm and ectoderm ectoderm outer one endoderm inner one and between them there is a fluid which is the mesoglia between these both layers we are in the fluid that is the mesoglia okay and if you talk about the their body so their cavity if you talk about the internal cavity okay where all the things like occurred so that we are calling as a gastrovascular cavity which means they are having only one opening which is mouth they excrete from mouth they inject ingest from the mouth okay so they are having only one opening which is the, the which is the cavity and we are also calling that as the cilantron okay and after this this is named as a cilantrata okay so cnidarians are basically uh for example if they place there okay for their for them so they are having the tentacles in their body tentacles are what tentacles are basically you can say that uh stinging cells they are in tentacles these are tentacles okay from where they basically uh, attack to the prey okay and they in tentacles there have there are stinging cells are there which is called nemato cyst okay nemato cyst so when they basically tentacles basically you can say that attack on prey and they move the prey move inside the gastrovascular cavity okay for paralyzing they are having a chemical that basically secrete they secrete okay so that's why they are calling as a cnidarians okay and if you can take the example of the hydra and we have also discussed the hydra in the uh, nutrition one chapter okay when we have discussed that in very detail too so in their hydra we have also discussed but this is a new chapter they are also having the hydra phylum hydra so that phylum cnidaria which uh, hydra consists of so we have to discuss again okay and the if we talk about the cnidarian so there are their bodies basically of two forms first is the polyp what is polyp and second is medusa what is medusa if you talk about the polyp they are cylindry like cylindrical like structure okay and they are having basically the tentacles on the upward on the upward okay and if you talk about the medusa so they are also having the body but their body is like umbrella like shape structure okay and if you talk about their so their tentacles is basically downward that's the difference between these both forms okay so if we talk about the this so we are having the their cnidarians basically can reproduce by the sexual method and by the asexual method okay if we talk about the asexual reprodu reproduction so that basically occurred by the budding okay and they are having the regeneration process too 
for example if you take the example of the lizard if the lizard tail is basically cut down so that can formed again okay that can lizard tail can formed again so they are also having the regeneration process if the body is cut down so they can regenerate again okay if we talk about a sexually so they basically uh, involved in the fusion where the egg released into the water and then egg egg basically uh, egg and sperm both and a new uh, swimming motile uh, free living animal basically got occurred that is the larva with this is a motile okay motile animal and if we talk about the hydra so most of the species here is the sessile motile which means uh, free living movable and sessile which means not movable okay so next i want to tell you guys is that uh, we are having the jellyfish too you can take the example of jellyfish why jellyfish because uh, they are basically range in the form of the microscopic okay and into the 2 meters length to jellyfish you can take the example of okay so if we talk about their digestion so if we talk about the respiratory system and excretion there is no respiratory and excretion system they are having nervous system but there is the consist of only nerve net or the sense organs little bit okay and they are having only the gastrovascular activity for the e eating purpose and these all and if we talk about the importance of the night area so this is basically used in the coral leaf what is coral leaf they basically release a lime okay outside and there is a basically the rock like structure occurred we are calling that the coral leaf and this coral leaf is basically used in the you can say the jewelry uh, rock of the garden and these kind of a things so they are basically poison they are they are poisonous okay so this was about the night area in the next video we will discuss about the next phylum which is platyhelminthus you can take the example of the night area as a hydra